Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be doing another vegetable harvest. I really wanted to get out here today because I saw that we had some low temperatures, kind of like in the low 40s over the next week. So it's starting to get a little bit chillier. And I also saw that we have about three straight days of rain this weekend. So there's some stuff that I wanna get out of the garden so it doesn't get really wet and maybe start molding. So those are like the two big weather things that are coming up and we're going to be trying to grab some of the stuff out of the garden. Before we get to harvesting, I think I'm gonna let the chickens out today and let them free range for a little bit. We actually just kind of like redid their chicken fence and added a little bit of an extension and a nice gate. So they do have plenty of space, especially for the number of chickens we have, but it would be nice to let them free range in the yard and just let them have a little special occasion and enjoy this beautiful weather just like we're doing. So before I let them out, let me just update you on what's going on. This is one of our chicks that one of our chickens hatched out early this summer. Those chicks are just under three months old right now, so they're almost fully grown. This is another one. You can see how it looks almost as big as our two-year-old chickens. Oh, they really like to try and escape. Um, so our other chickens, these barred rocks, Americanas, they are coming up on about one and a half years old. And this is our second fall with them. So last year, around this time, they were like the size of this chick. And this year, since they're going into their second year, they're actually starting to molt. Oh my goodness, these chicks are real escape artists. Um, so if you look in their chicken run, there's feathers everywhere because some of them are starting to molt. Not all of them are and they look pretty much normal right now. Here, let me let them out and then you can probably get a better look. This is going to be the first time free ranging the younger chicks, at least on purpose. They do sometimes get out on their own. So it's going to be interesting to see how they act. And I think that they'll probably stick to themselves and not hang out with the older chickens. That's what they usually do. They're already catching a bunch of like bugs and things, which is great. They immediately went to our fig tree and our raspberries. I'm probably going to regret this decision in like 10 minutes, but sometimes I can't resist just letting them have a little fun. So anyway, this is one of the chickens that we think is molting. This is Pretty Girl. And if you can see, she kind of looks like she doesn't have a tail. The other day when we were feeding the chickens in the morning, we noticed that a lot of her feathers looked really loose and especially her tail feathers. So we kind of just like brushed over her a little bit and all of her tail feathers just fell right out. So I'm pretty sure that a lot of the feathers in the run are hers. Um, by the way, molting is normal. It happens once a year, usually in late summer and fall. And this is when chickens pretty much like lose all of their feathers and they'll look naked. So that's going to be a really interesting development. In the next month or so, it'll be our first time witnessing them molt. So it's going to be really interesting. A lot of them are already in the gardens, which I knew would happen. I'm not too worried about it. We don't have like too much like valuable stuff that I'm concerned about. Anything that's important, like mostly the brassicas that I know they love to eat and that we still are trying to grow for the fall and winter. I've covered most of those up and we'll just have to kind of keep an eye on them, which is fine because we're gonna be out here harvesting anyway. So hopefully they have a nice time out here with us. It's pretty funny, most of the chickens have all spread out, but these three chickens always like to hang out together. They're all the same breed and we think of them as triplets. We actually named them after the sisters in Hamilton because we couldn't really tell them apart in the beginning. And these are the ones that we had to separate. So they were living on their own for about a month away from the other chickens. So maybe that's why their bond with each other is stronger and they like to stick together. So with that little bit of fun with the chickens, if we don't get started harvesting, we could probably just spend all evening out here watching them, which would be fine, but we do want to harvest some stuff. So let me go over really quickly what we're gonna be harvesting today. In this first bed, we have a lot of peppers that I think we're gonna pick today. Another thing I really wanna get to are these beans. These are um, beans that we're going for dried beans. 
and the pods have started to dry out. Some of them are still, oh, I see some harlequin bugs on here. These little guys. Oh, I just dropped it. These are no good. We're gonna have to come out here and kill them later. Um, so anyway, these guys, a lot of them are dry and I've harvested maybe a third or a half of these already. Some of the pods are still green, so we're gonna leave these. But any of the ones that are like yellowed and are starting to get dry, we're gonna pick those because if I leave them and it rains for three days, I do think that those will get moldy. So that's one of the big things I wanted to get today. The other big thing I wanted to get, literally, is this winter melon, which I'm not sure if it's still growing. I feel like it can't still be growing because it's so big. And this winter melon plant has one, two, three, four, five, five really, huh? She got a snake? Oh my gosh. It's a, it's not a poisonous snake, right? <laughs> I think it, I think we've seen that kind before. Yeah, well, no, she's uh, eating it. So. Oh, yeah. Like oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, I've seen that. Okay. I've seen that well, she's going at it. Wow. Poor snake. Yep. Well, this is what happens when you let your chickens free range. They get lots of different critters. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> There it goes. Oh <laughs> wow. Good job, Peggy. So this plant pop probably has like four or five really good sized winter melons on here. And I think today we'll grab maybe two or three of them um, because I think that if we pull the biggest ones off, the ones that are remaining will have a little bit more time to grow before it gets really, really cold and then we have to pull them out. So yeah, that's gonna be really fun because that is definitely gonna be the biggest thing we've grown this year and maybe ever. And the last thing I wanna grab are some of these radishes, which I noticed are getting really big. They're a good size now. So that is a huge radish. I don't want them to get too much bigger because then they might get kind of like woody and pithy. So I did wanna come grab these today. So we're gonna go through this little patch and see what's ready. And I planted some kale and bok choy in these two rows, but you can see that they either didn't germinate very well or they got eaten when they were really young by slugs. So I think I'll go in and just seed in another succession of radishes. I'm not sure if we have enough time, but might as well get them in and radishes grow really quickly. So there's a good chance that they will be able to grow and we'll have another round of radishes. Yes, I'm so happy that she's over here because I hate these weeds that are up against these bed and now she's helping me mow it down, so that's awesome. That's Whoa. the biggest radish we've ever grown. It is for sure. At least amount of damage on it too. It's because I forgot about these guys. <laughs> yeah. Well, I didn't good. forget about them, but I just left them alone. Yeah. Gorgeous radishes.
in the backyard of your old farm in the summer. Stay there for three weeks where we learn to love each other. Wrote you a letter, sent a message to the captain. Skip to the present, haven't been so happy ever. On this trellis I had planted some shelling peas. It only looks like we have one plant here, but some of the pods do look like they're ready to pick. So we're gonna grab those and then we'll probably just snack on peas right now. See so the peas, like green peas. Are they too like starchy? They're not supposed to be. Just a few, just a little garden snack. Now for the highlight of the show, the winter melons. This is probably gonna be the last thing we're gonna pick today. And with these guys, they kind of have these like hairs on them that can be really prickly and get in your skin and be really irritating. So definitely wear gloves before picking. Go ahead and get it. Yep, yeah. I have to find where it's connected. Okay. Yeah, I see it right here, but it's gonna fall right down. Heavy. Oh yeah. Slippery, except for the hairs here. Yeah, here you are. Yeah. Take those. Hmm. Yo, this thing is heavy. Yeah. It's bigger than last year's for sure. Oh my goodness. <laughs> look, at his, look at his belly button. Oh my gosh. <laughs> uh, Alright, heavy. <laughs> put it down. Yeah, go put it down. How much do you think it weighs? 55. 55 pounds? Yeah. No way. 50. I think maybe 40, 45 pounds. Okay. Yeah. Oh my gosh. Should we even pick a second one or should we just leave it at this know. tonight? I don't know. Let's take a look at the other ones. Yeah. <laughs> oh, hit my belly. It went through my shirt. Is this one lighter? Another oh, chick right there. A little lighter, yeah. I'd say it's like five pounds lighter. Okay, hold on. Let me take your picture. Here is our final harvest. We have our two massive winter melons. We're about to bring the scale out and weigh these because I'm really curious to see how big they are. I'm pretty sure they're bigger than the one we grew last year. So our guess is like maybe 50, 40, 50 pounds for this one. We got all of our dried beans here. I'm not going to shell them tonight, but I'll do it another time. I actually really enjoy shelling dried beans. I find it very therapeutic. We've got our beautiful big radishes here and then a bunch of peppers as well. I was wrong. What? That's 36. it? 
36. That's crazy. I thought it was going to be 40 pounds. That's crazy. the biggest one? Yeah. Oh man, how disappointing. How big was your biggest, your parents' biggest? This year? Thank you. 